Welcome to part two of the $1,000 golf career challenge. If you missed part one, here's what happened. We started off by booking a tee time for $50. We're okay. all on a budget. Grant and I then found our necessary golf gear for 368 69 368 14 Ooh, that's good. With the money we have left, let's spin it on some snacks at the turn before the back nine. Oh, baby. Oh. 21.50. Perfect. We're under budget. We had about $45 to spend on food, so yeah. we're good. We did good. I think this is our last purchase, and we were probably around $950 total yeah. spent kind of restarting golf, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we did it. Those are the the last purchases that we're going to make for this video, and we did it under $1,000. We restarted our golf careers for one day. Here we are, onto the back nine, hole number 10. Yeah, we're having a good time out here, I gotta say. Like, this is just fun using different clubs. It's a challenge. It makes it a little, makes it pretty hard. But Garrett, like I've said, guys, he's really good at using pretty much anything to get it in the hole. Here we go, driver in hand. That's gonna maybe be just right in the fairway. That's gonna be really good because this is a par five, little dog leg right and very short. So eagle in play. Let's take it low. Dude, he loves. He's hitting it straight today. Nice ball. You could put any driver in Grant's hand, he would just hit it well. That is one thing. Grant is always good with the D stick, pretty much is always striping it. Alright, guys, 220, I got my seven iron. Good. Front of the green there. Oh, there we go. Right. These things are juicy, so I got an eight iron from 200 downwind. Pins in the back, just want to be short if anything. Pretty perfect position here. I need to go. Falling out of the sky. Shot. Just short, just short. We got an eagle putt, let's go. All right guys, we got a 52 degree here. I gotta carry this probably halfway. I was debating whether to putt that or chip it, but we got a little work here for the birdie. Right, I'm taking it out here. This pin is so far back here. I didn't know it was this far back, but I got my putt at Eagle straight up the hill. I'm going to try and give this one a run. Whoa. I got to say, I did not see that. I rolled that end over in. Complete misread there. All right, let's see if we can roll this one in. Oh, oh, even par, baby. Back to even. Come on. Let's go. Three putt. I just hit it too hard, man. See, that's how a lip out occurs, right there. That is the science of a lip out. Anyways, that is okay. Honestly, it happens. Three putts happen. Three under, even par, on a hole number 11, the second hole of the day. I don't know, I feel like this is the right club, just a nice one. Okay, I like the eight iron. Oh, man. Oh, great. Chunked it. Chunked it. Not good there, guys. Wow. All right, I got an eight iron as well. I'm being nice to it, though. Not, not swinging too hard. All right, don't drive your clubs. Good. We're struggling on this hole. Left to the green, both Grant and I. Gotta get up and down for par now. Long and left, but it is okay. I actually have a makeable flop shot here. Down the hill, going with the sand wedge here. Well, decided to really hit it extra hard. Oh, that's not good. Kane is like two feet off the front now, so I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna land it almost short of the green. I mean, that was honestly the smart play. Once I bring this fringe into play, you never know what's gonna happen. Up the hill to save the par. Much needed, much needed. Oh. I hit my line, I hit my line. Unfortunately, just missed right. A little misread. All right, Grant. Killed it into the back. That was gone. That was it. I wanted to do. I respect it. Grant just, he likes to ram it right in the back. Through two holes of this video on the back nine, he's currently even total. I'm two under total. On to uh, the 12th hole. Let's go. Yeah. 
I'm trying to take this one over the trees. Here, Grant, you're up actually, go. We gotta go over the tree. Garrett, we gotta go over the trees? All right guys, I'm teeing this thing up high and we're going up over these trees. I don't know what I have, what do I have? 9.5, yeah. This is uh, quite the tee shot, especially since we're actually trying this. This is aggressive. par four but it's actually par five and we hit some bombs i know here. i got a i got a nine iron i might hit me even hit a pitching wedge 150 marker is right here so it's probably about 155 a little uphill and then that's where mine is i think mine probably hit that tree and came down or maybe got under it or something but we're both in good position so we gotta hit a good iron shot that's what i've been struggling with today i mean I'm, i like where i'm at for how i play give it to him You on? Yeah, I think I'm on the right side of the green there. I should have an eagle putt. Hi guys, Garrett is perfect. Yeah, I'm going A wedge. I think I got about 135, so got the attack wedge. Oh, let's go. Wait, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Maybe a little long. If anything, it might be a little short. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, you're short. Not a, that was a really, really mediocre shot from 155, but see if you can drain this for eagle. Short for my eagle look. I think it's pretty straight, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, two birdies there. We're just kind of cruising right now. I'm actually having fun today. I like this course. It's not like one of those like really difficult, demanding courses. We can just come out here, have fun. Three under, one under, on to hole number 13, our fourth hole of this video. On to a par three here. It's about, we're guessing 160. We don't have our range finders. There's no markers on this one, so we're just eyeballing it. Get in the hole. Get in the hole for him. Actually, talk birdie to me. Oh! That was just a nice, easy little eight iron. But it kind of just spun up in the air, I will say. Wanna, all right, knock down, draw nine. A little hooker in there. No, uh, spun it too, Grant. Spun it too, Grant. One at two, Grant. Oh! All right, right next to each other. Club choice mistake, as per usual, that's that uh, fear of going long. I need to get rid of that in my brain. All right, guys. <coughs> that was a bug. Don't fly in my mouth again. Bull left to right here. It's gonna be slow. I gotta hit this one hard. Oh! What? All right, for the birdie. So you get to four under, come on. I have a little long one today. Oh. Uh-oh. That is two three putts in this video so far, guys. Two under to one under. Match is actually getting closer. We're both swinging it well, though, so still confident, still happy, and still positive for the rest of this round. We'll see what we can do, but there's lots of birdies out there on this course. On to hole number 13. <laughs> Kind of straight away, downhill, upwind. I'm gonna aim over at this bunker on the left, see if I can almost cut it. Well, it drew at the bunker. It's not ideal, it just didn't cut on me. It's kind of, it is tough, I will say, to cut it with this regular flex. I almost, I really gotta hold the face. Here we go, driver in hand, giving this a full spin. That's uh, not killed. Nice. Not nice, Grant. Not nice. Sit for me. Sit for me. You're good. Oh, cross the car path. Okay, it stopped. That's see, that's the angle though. That's a fine angle over there, but as soon as I hit it, I knew it was leaking a little too far right. We're okay though. Here we go. Left side here. I'm gonna go for something crazy. I don't know why. I'm gonna go for like a flop shot almost. Oh, Grant. Well, just got hit by a golf ball. I deserve it after that shot. 
<laughs> the round has kind of slowed down for me. I haven't been playing super well the last couple holes, but now is a very good opportunity to get some back, at least get one back here. A little flop wedge from about 60 yards, 69 yards in here, sandwich in hand. Grant, what are we doing, brother? We are getting a little too scared or something to hit the ball. Woo -hoo -hoo. I don't know, let's chip in or something. That's not good. I almost want to putt this like Bubby, but I don't know. I'm trying to get this to stop. Just on the fringe is where I want to land it. Nope, too far. Oh, it checked. Ooh. That actually spun. I'll take it. Not bad. Chip winnable here, just short of the green. Two under, so the round still at our fingertips. That's good. Right through the break. Not a good bogey, guys. That tried to get cute from the fairway. And when you get cute sometimes, you just don't look that cute. Alright, I got driver in hand here, guys. I'm trying to take a little higher. Right at it. Oh, right baby. Right at it. You gotta go, though. Go! Oh, baby. Probably gonna be short. We'll see. I think that was right at it. Is that the line? Yeah. It's right at it. I think that is the perfect line. I hit it long. From what I know. Garrett. Yeah, so do I. Dang it. We're both right at the pin. It's just yeah. low on the face. All right, guys. It is just crazy to think that those two drives, they're right next to each other. I mean, our ball's literally, you guys know what. Hey, let's make some birdies here, Grant. Yeah? I was kind of heated up on the front nine, so let's turn it around and let's finish really strong here. Wow. Okay, hey, a little right. Not bad, though. Not bad. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Hi. Yeah, I mean, we got work. About four and a half feet. Before the birdie, to take it to three under again. Had a good putt. Wow. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. All right. Still two under. Nice spot. Back to one under. Let's go. On to our last three holes. Hole number 16. A little bit of a dog leg right. Par four here. Into the breeze and off the left. Grant and I both going with driver. Oh, that was good looking. Landed somewhere in those it's trees. It's a tight fairway up there, I gotta say. I'm aiming kind of exactly where you did. Wow, what a shot. Huh? Bounced straight left off of something hard. Oh, I saw it. It just came, it literally kicked down from that tree right there. I'm actually curious to see what that hit, like if it was a rock or something. That's weird. Grant here in the in the left rough. I'm oh. also in the left rough. Yeah. Ooh, there's the 100. Wait, that's the 100 yard marker? That is not the I 100. For this. this might go in. That's right over top. Well, that gum tig. Side hill, I guess I kicked off a dad gum cart path up there and bounced all the way up here. So I got about 50 yards here. I'm going with the sandwich. What a shot. Thank you. Nice shot. See if we can make that, get it to three under. Walking up to the green. I'm looking at a pretty good look at birdie. I'll definitely take it off that side hill lie. Finishing up this challenge here, I think we both had a lot of fun doing this today. I've had a great time. I don't know. I love this. I like this course a lot, and I like the challenge of using new clubs. Yeah. Because it's like you're, you feel like they're so new, you have no expectations, and that's what feels good. That's the other thing. It's just cool to see that this is how, if you guys are wanting to get into golf, this is it's almost like a tutorial on how to do it, because we just did it. Instead of spending $400, $400 on a driver, you can spend less than $400 and get a decent set of clubs. Grant to flop it up there and get it up and down for a par. Oh. Oh! Did you see the sauce on that thing? That did have some sauce. Dad, gum, that was a good shot. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one to him. That one's good in my book, Grant. Good in your book. Oh! oh he lifted out. All right, Garrett for the birdie to get to three under. Come on, come on, come on. No! no. Nice. Can't complain. Still made par. On to hole number 17, pretty short par three. Then finishing with short par four. Let's finish short. Par 
We're guessing it's about 140 yards here, a little down breeze. I got a pitching wedge here on this par three. Yeah, it's gonna be a really light pitching wedge. You sit, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's good. Oh, it got a real nice bounce for you. That hit the cart path, I was gone. Oh, it's all over it. It is all over it. I can't believe that's long. Does it have a stabilizer in it? I think so, why? It said OIS off. Touch the button, Grant. OIS on now. The stabilizer was off. We just... Dude, I thought my hands were that bad, but... You turned it off. Yeah, the camera was going all over the place. I was like, what? But no. We need Ryder. He's flying the drone. We don't know what to do without you, Ryder. Who knows what song I'm singing? <laughs> like we doing this. Hey. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, Grant here just left of the green. I'm on the back side. Hopefully I can make that putt coming from the back side. Oh! Yo! Seriously? Oh, no, seriously, dude? That two back to back chips should have gone in. Wait. Oh. Alright, guys, this would get Garrett to trace under par. I'm not even taking my glove off because I know this is going in. Oh. Whoa! That was kind of clean. Final hole, 201 under. We actually have ourselves a good match. Coming down to one stroke. That's that's all it comes down to sometimes. So, hey, sometimes all it takes is one stroke. You want to do a miniature hole in one challenge here? Hole in one on a par four challenge. It's, it's our last hole, might as well. It's 297, perfect yardage. I got some balls. We'll play our normal ball, but then let's hit some more. Let's see if we can even hit the green. I'll get him to play up here. I cannot get there. Fred. You're getting there. No, you're coming. All right, Grant's going to get it there from the tip. 280, 285. Oh, this is easy in your wheelhouse. I just blocked it. No. Yeah? Hang right there. Oh! Oh, barely. Yeah, that was basically pin high. All right, we got our real ones, and then we'll hit a couple for fun. See if we can even hit the green. I think if we can hit the green out of those four, that'd be good. Oh. A little spin. He might be short. Just short. Just short on the fringe. All right, three balls each. Hold on on a par four challenge. Oh. What a shot, Garrett. You just wanted to see one on the green, Grant. That was kind of cool, that cut you just had. What? It's right at it. Oh. It's in the bunker? Go. Go. Oh my what a gosh. shot, dude! What? A little intermission for the video. All right, Grant, give me one by the pen. Come on. Oh, it's gonna go so hard. It's there. Thanks. Oh. Oh. oh there we go. There we go. Under right the green, man. I might even do all. Perfect. Hey, we hit the green. That was kind of cool though. A little intermission to the video. We have four balls on the green up there. Obviously we got four on the green, but we're taking our uh, our real balls, which that's my real one, just short. Let's uh, finish with an eagle chip in. Get it to, that would get us to four. That would get us to four. That would get you to four. Yep, yep. Nice shot. All right, a little long there. That was not good at all. Tied up. If I chip this in one-handed, you guys have to like the video. All right, Grant over here on the right side. Pretty solid look at an up and down for birdie on this final hole. Hmm. No. Slid under it. Can he make that though to potentially tie the mat? This is actually a big putt, Grant. I'm Think about how big this putt is though. In the hard. That's good. No way. All right, just left it short in the heart. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate way to end. Honestly, just an unfortunate back nine for me after having three under on the on the front. You actually had a good back nine. You were two under on the back, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, it got me good. to one under total, right? 
Yeah. Uh, that is 69. That's a good number to shoot. That is a great number, and you shot 68. Yeah. Wow. Two rounds in the 60s. Hey. First time using the clubs. Yeah. I don't care what course. Even though this course, I would say, was pretty easy, any rounds in the 60s always feel good. They always yeah. do feel good. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that two-part series. If you did, let us know in the comments down below, and let us know if you want to see us do it again in the future. Maybe we could up the budget or even make the budget lower, like a $250 round, getting everything dialed in, $250 a piece on sets of clubs. I know we enjoyed this challenge. It was a very thought out, and you know we pretty much spent the whole day on this. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that, obviously, and stay tuned for more content. I think we might have, yeah, we have more stuff coming from here in Kansas City. So stay tuned for all that content. Till next time, guys. Y'all have a good day. Peace.